Hey everyone, uh, it's been a long time, but I got Juan here back with me and we got some really exciting news and I want to um, share with you guys. And so it's Juan's second week at his developer job and I'll let you tell him, or I'll let him tell you about his title and the company that he's working for. And I have about five questions here that I'd like to ask him. So yeah. congratulations, man. Um, Thank you. Tell us more about <laughs> this uh, new gig that you just got. Yeah, it's been a lot that's been going on like since we last touched base. I don't know where, where we stopped, what number we stopped on, but. Well, your last interview was like 2017 or something. So, <laughs> but yeah, I don't in terms know. of mastermind, <laughs> it's been a while too. Yeah, that's right. Um, what's yeah. your title in uh, the company that you got with? So the title is a developer, developer support engineer. Mm -hmm. um, Though I the first the the position I actually applied to before this one was a uh, support engineer team lead, and then I got um someone else within the company moved on to that role, so no big deal because it was a lead position, so I, I didn't feel comfortable, mm -hmm. like I guess doing that. But anyways, um, yeah, developer support engineer will be the title, and the, it's a huge company, man. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. I mean. I I was pretty nervous to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I'm really happy for you too because I know how awesome they are over there. Um, so it's been two weeks now at this new position, yeah. And so the first question I have for you is, what was the situation for you going into applying to this place? Um, what was were you applying to other places? Kind of just like a intro, quick intro to catch people up to speed. Right. Yeah, so I was actually applying to a bunch of places in Austin, like uh, a real estate company that does machine learning, a company that does like advertisements and stuff. But um, all of those companies basically goes to just because of the pandemic. Mm. And I was basically unsure as well. I was pretty like confused because I was like, okay, I guess I came here to part of jobs and then it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I still applied to Unity and I did interview with them. But it was mostly remotely. I mean, through video, just because the recruiter guy for them, uh, he's in the UK, and part of the team is in the UK as well. So, but after I got back to Virginia, the interview process still kept going. I thought they were just gonna like move on with someone else, but right. or like close down the jobs. But um, the situation was pretty confusing, just because I didn't know what was gonna happen. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. Okay. So it sounds like um, you were in Austin uh, here hanging out. Um, yeah. You applied to it and then it didn't, it didn't really pick up until you got back to Virginia. Yeah. yeah. It basically took three months. <laughs> <laughs> From you, when you first applied until yeah. you got the, the Until offer. the offer. Yeah. <sighs> three months was a long time. Well, it's a big yeah, company dude. too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Um. And what were some of the requirements that they were asking for, like, for that position that, so you, that the, you got, that you, this one that you got? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty broad just because uh, the, my resume was more tailored to uh, develop front-end developer role. Mm -hmm. But then again, um, I had some, like, server experience, like, back when I was working as a contractor at Facebook. Okay. So back, some of the requirements for the job was like being able to SSH into servers, like move files from directory to directory, just using the terminal, which is pretty, um, it's easy to be honest. I mean, because I think I feel like we do that as developers, as we learn like yeah. to like navigate the terminal, and then being able to, I guess, solve issues like Google stuff, like you don't like you, you come up with an issue. And you had to Google it, even though if, if they have the docs for like really specific issues at the mm -hmm. company, but then there's some issues that are not available in the documents. So you, you have to be able to Google them and, and solve them mm -hmm. and then be able to respond to the customer like promptly oh, okay. and just being nice to the, to the person <laughs> on the other end. <laughs> Customer um, service. <laughs> yeah. And then the way I some like scripting knowledge, like Golang or Bash or whatever. So, I mean, I don't know Golang, but I do know Bash. So, I guess uh, it's a plus, but it's, it's not a requirement to know scripting. It's okay. a plus if you do, but it's not a requirement. Okay. So, but yeah, I mean, that's the basic. Just, yeah, it's just pretty broad in general. 
I know how how you know broad it can be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're trying to get the best for the position. Yeah. Um, so when you went through the interview process, like what were the different stages like? Things like behavioral questions or technical questions, or just the overall feel of the the interview process. Right. So yeah, there were a lot of different stages. Like I mean, basically the first for phone screening. And there was a lot of going back and forth between like emails with the guys in the UK, just because, hmm. like I told you, the, the position I first applied to was already filled up. And then they're like, "Well, well we had this other position where we want you to apply to." So it was a lot. It was a lot of going back and forth. But then again, after we proceeded to go to the to go with that position, um, they sent me a task, a take home test. But that was basically it. Well, I don't think I should be able to. I, I don't think I can say what it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But I was basically setting up um, a gaming server. Gotcha. And then, and it was pretty um, straightforward. I mean, I just loved the documentation for the server they wanted me to set up. And then the last thing I needed to do was open up the ports on my uh, router. So whenever people are trying to hit my server, they can get into my server. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's like basically networking knowledge. That's pretty common for people that work with servers. Okay. Um, and even if you work with just uh, websites, that should be pretty common knowledge too. Um, and then behavioral questions. Yeah, there were those type of questions, but that was not till the end with one mm-hmm. of the presidents of the company. Mm-hmm. So they were asking me like a culture fit and all that type of stuff. It was not too complicated. I mean, it was pr- pretty much a conversation. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, the interview process was pretty good. I mean, even though it took a long time, it, the yeah. recruiters just stayed up, they stay in touch. They kept me informed, even though there was a point where it, it, it was two weeks. <laughs> like, it was silenced. I'm like, God, I guess they moved on with something <laughs> right, else. Right. It's, been, and it, it's been two months now. Like, I've been talking with this company. <laughs> yeah, what can you but, do? <laughs> um, yeah, what, what happened? But overall, it was pretty good, even though it was way too long, but it was good. So the process better than the other interviews that you had or about the same? Yeah, dude, better just because compared to the other ones, the other ones, they were like half remote, half like in person. But this was full remote and it was better than other ones like back in Austin. So, okay. Um, What kind of not necessarily the salary but like what kind of benefits or perks did you get um you know including you know like working with the covid situation that kind of thing i'm just curious about that right so i guess one of the main benefits that's really important here is like i'm able to work from where i am right now like i don't have to move to austin yet right and still they told me once the offices open up i don't have to go in if I don't feel safe or comfortable or whatever. So that's a plus. And then like benefits wise, like healthcare and anything else, uh, I did get healthcare and it is pretty good um, package I picked. Mm -hmm. And then some stuck in the company, but I can't remember how much they gave me. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and then also like self-development, like plural site, LinkedIn learning, which is pretty basic, I think, but the plural site stuff, there's a lot of like, good stuff on there I saw that I I have I, I might do at some point when, when I'm done ramping up for the job and um, and then other stuff it will be like they pay for my commute I guess let's say if I take a toll they mm-hmm. reimburse me that fee or like if I take the bus or, or like a metro whatever mm-hmm. they reimburse me with that so that's and then pretty you, good. you got something they sent you something pretty big too right yeah <laughs> I meant like for you to use for work. Your... Oh, though the computer. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the, the, big. Com- <laughs> the, the, the yeah the MacBook. I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I will say that's a benefit just because. I mean, I requested a MacBook just because I know how to use it, and that's what I use for like development stuff on my yeah. own. But um, yeah, it was a six inch MacBook. Like nice. spec that with like I want to say it's like worth, three K something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so I'm pretty careful walking around with this thing. So, but I usually I just leave it on my desk. I don't I don't take it around. To be yeah, honest. that's good. Um, I want to learn more about what your first week like was like in your second week, like mm-hmm. some techs, you know, technologies that you use, 
um, people that you work with, your your hours, like how when you start, when you finish, and mm. just kind of day to day stuff. Right. So the first week was pretty chill. There was not like uh, a lot going on. I mean, pretty much the onboarding. Mm-hmm. Like I got to meet other people that started the same day I I did. And um uh, and then then I touched base with my um my manager. Basically, the well the guys in Austin, but then there's I have another manager I touched base with in the UK. That's like my top manager. Mm-hmm. Um and that was pretty good. I mean, I got to meet a lot of people in my team that I'll be talking with a lot. So there's I mean, that's people in the UK, people in the in South Korea, sorry. And people in Austin, so so that was pretty cool. And um, and for the hours, uh, right now since I'm just training, I don't have to work the full shift. Oh. But even though I'm getting paid the full shift, so the guy tells me, I mean, there's a lot of like, um, whenever there's like a session, a training session for me, like there's a guy explaining and something. He's like, yeah, dude. I mean, feel free to like take off early. You don't have to like pretend you're doing something. <laughs> like till like 8 p.m or whatever okay like he's like you can take off at five or i don't know what time you want to take off okay there's a lot of like to take in once you're doing the training session or whatever oh so. um but that the training sessions like technically speaking they're mo- mostly talking about like the infrastructure like how everything works together like all the servers mm-hmm and like how they did it like how it works because it's it's pretty insane i don't think i can say yeah yeah i mean i don't it's kind of really complicated but then again i don't think i can say how everything works just because right right so i guess kind of private it's yeah. it's just uh they have a bunch of different services that they're it's interconnected and so there's a lot going on basically yeah basically the main thing is like for they do gaming servers like the team i'm i'm, I'm on that's mm-hmm. all they do and the thing that's pretty big that why companies companies like them is just because they can scale up or down like like nothing it's pretty insane it's, it's how they fast. explain to me yeah, yeah it's fast so okay um but yeah that's pretty much it for the first week and second week uh, it's been pretty chill as well i mean mostly training been doing pro size stuff like, they have a, a playlist they made for me so nice so, yeah. <laughs> yeah um and then the last question i have just to close up here uh mm-hmm. what are your goals that you're you're working towards uh at this company like are you trying to get to a new technology trying to get to um a certain position you know what goals do you have right now or where do you see yourself right. in a little little while like a year or two right so that's a good question just because that's something they i i spoke to my top manager about like the guy that's in the uk mm-hmm. his name is ben so he told me so you basically we have sessions you and me we have one-on-one sessions like I don't know. We can do them whenever he told me. Oh, but that's okay. basically your goals. Like, what do you want to do at Unity, or you want to? What do you want to achieve here? Mm-hmm. So he's like, "Well, do you want to get better at your job? That can be one of your goals, or whatever." I mean, I, I basically set my goals. They don't set any goals for me. So, okay. I guess it's pretty relaxed, just because you don't have to like meet like goals for the company in in a way. Um, but basically my current goals right now will be to i guess be like really good at the job i applied to mm-hmm. and then once i'm done with that i'll talk to my manager and be like well i want to be in this position just writing code basically so that's one of my goals and then also i guess learn how to use the unity engine just to make i guess some games or something for fun that's so, cool man yeah Sounds like a really good position, and I'm super excited for you. Yeah, um, yeah the one-on-one, concerning the one-on-one thing, I do have that with my manager as well. Um, you can talk about whatever, you know, whatever's going on in your life or right. um, all that good stuff. So uh, super excited to, to hear from you um, in the future, maybe after your 90-day review or something. Yeah. Um, I just had mine, so I'm probably going to work on that here in a little while. Awesome. <laughs> but uh yeah thanks for sharing with us and uh good yeah, luck man. at your new gig yep thank you man